Who wouldn't want to become a millionaire or even a billionaire from a joke? Maybe even from something as strange as a smiley face? Well, legend has it that Worcester's own Mr. Harvey Ross Ball lived to regret having missed out on the opportunity to make a whopping $500 million from a simple smiley face. And while this is a sad case, today's video is actually not about that, but the strangest inventions that made people rich. Oh, it hasn't slipped my mind. We'll finish the smiley face story too, so watch to the end to know what it's all about. But before that, take a second to subscribe to Insight Booth and turn on notifications so you can know each time we share new, inspiring insights. Hit the thumbs up button too, as it helps the YouTube algorithm get this insightful video out to other people in need of personal finance guidance. Let me now draw your attention to the 10 strange inventions that made people extremely rich. 1. Lucky Break Wishbones Entire wars have been fought at Thanksgiving dinners over who will be the lucky wishbone holder. But thank the heavens for Canaroni, who invented the Lucky Break wishbone to keep family members from the annual fight over the turkey wishbone. Mr. Aroni came up with the idea of this strange invention at a Thanksgiving dinner with his family in 1999. He reckons that everyone at their table, save for one, was utterly frustrated for missing out on the wishbone, and each wanted to have their own, something that's not plausible, of course, unless everyone got their own turkey. Fast forward to 2004, Mr. Aroni, driven by mostly frustration, creativity in part, and faith in a strange idea, decided to close his consulting business to launch the Lucky Break Wishbone Corporation. Through his company, he introduced the world to unique breakable plastic wishbones, boasting of a revolutionary design that allowed them to break, just like a real one, at random. The story goes that it actually took hours of research and design, as well as tons of fractures for that satisfying bone snap to be replicated. Not to bore you with all that, here's the money bit. In just two years, Aroni's company generated about $1 million in sales through its distributors in over 40 states all over the US. That's right, all thanks to his peculiar idea and product. 2. Pet Rock If you thought the plastic wishbone idea was strange, you need to hear the Pet Rock story. One Mr. Gary Dahl invented the Pet Rock, a fad in the 1970s that made him an incredible profit of $15 million in just the first six months. And what exactly is the pet rock? Well, it's simply a rock on a bed of hay. Yes, and while you can easily go out there, pick a rock, lay it on some grass, and have yourself a pet, people actually had to part with $3.95 to own Dahl's pet rocks. The genius of his product, I must say, was the marketing. Dahl marketed his pet rocks as hassle-free pets and went further to provide an actual pet training manual and a cardboard box borrowing a pet carrier's design. Three, Santa Mail. It's Christmas, and you get mail from Santa Claus himself, dropped right through your chimney. Would you forget that Christmas? That's a story you can share with us in the comments section below. In the meantime, let's talk about the strange Santa mail invention. Byron Reese, the brains behind the idea, has been sending custom letters from Santa, each bearing a genuine postmark and stamp from the North Pole. Yes, since 2001, kids and adults too, all over the US have collectively received over 200,000 Santa letters thanks to Reese's strange and ingenious invention. And as the recipients smile and revel in their mails, Reese is smiling at the bank. Now a multimillionaire, thanks to the product, the real genius of his idea is that his letters are actually answered by a kid's parents who just assume the role of Santa. Reese himself does not write a thing on them. And in the spirit of expansion, Reese now offers parents the opportunity to buy birthday cards for their kids from Santa. Now, whose child has been naughty? I think I'm ready to start sending out letters from the boogeyman. 4. Wacky Wall Walker Just in case you've not encountered this strange invention, the Wacky Wall Walker is an octopus-shaped toy that, when thrown against a wall, walks its way down. The story goes that Kanakuta received several of these tentacled things from his mother in Japan as a gift for his children, but little did she know that her son Hakuta would actually be the one most fascinated by the sticky toys, dubbed Taiko then. In fact, Hakuta was more than fascinated. He actually went ahead to buy the rights for the toys for 100k and then started marketing them in the DC area. But in the true spirit of business, things were not rosy and it took a reporter for the Washington Post writing about the wacky wall walker to wake people up. The story goes that soon after that, a marketing fad was born, and within several months, more than 240 million were sold, earning Hakuda about 80 million dollars. 5. Yellow Smiley Faces Seeing as we're in the middle of things, it's only right that I finish the smiley face story for you. 
So, the word is that back in 1963, Harvey Ross Ball first drew the now-renowned goofy yellow smiley faces you often spot on white plastic bags after ordering some takeout. Ross never trademarked his image and only earned a paltry $45 from the happy face icon after sketching it for his PR company's client, State Mutual Life Insurance. So who made all the money? Enter two brothers, Bernard and Murray Spain, who came about the icon and saw its potential. They were thinking of opening a novelty store, so they purchased the legal rights to the face before adding the now infamous tagline, have a nice day. They started putting up the image on literally everything, and soon the phenomenon swept the rest of the US and the world. The yellow smiley faces fad had its time in the sun in 1971 before declining after a year and a half. But that's not after raking in $50 million in sales. And that's not the end of the story. The brothers opened the first Dollar Express in the 80s, where they continued to sell the smiley before selling their chain for a whopping $500 million in 2000. Six, million dollar homepage. Alex II, a British citizen, made a cool $1 million from this strange invention. In fact, his story is as peculiar as they get. Then 21 years old, Two built a homepage where he sold 1 million pixels, each for $1. But that was not the genius of his plan. Rather, the sob story that he wanted to use the proceeds to pay for college was. And as they say, the rest is history. The plan worked, seeing as he sold out all his pixels in a year, earning a cool $1 million. 7. Slinky Richard James, a naval engineer, once saw a tension spring he dropped slink away on the floor, and that's literally his light bulb moment. 1945 came and James took his invention, dubbed Slinky, to a Gimbel's in Philadelphia. The word is that he was unsettled as a kid who had just broken the sugar jar at the event, so he asked a friend to accompany him to the maiden staging of the Slinky. But as fate would have it, his nervousness was all in vain, seeing as 400 sold out in an hour and a half. And as of the posting of this video, it's a known fact that slinky sales have generated a profit of about $250 million. 8. The Snuggie The advertising and marketing certainly must be the reason for this strange invention's sales success story. If you don't know, the Snuggie is a backward bathrobe created by Scott Boylan from All Star Products. It was marketed in the funniest ways and featured families who wore the Snuggie as they roasted marshmallows and attended sports events. And for lack of more words, all I can say is that the only thing that matches the bizarreness of the product is the $200 million net profit it has generated. 9. I Fart App Joe Com is the person behind this strange invention that made serious money. The story is that Com decided to channel the middle school child in him to create iFart, an app that turns your smartphone into an artificial fart master. After developing the application, he put it on iTunes, where it was downloaded in numbers in its first two weeks. Fast forward to now, and Com has earned about 400K from the weird invention. 10. Beanie Babies If you know our channel, you know number 10 has to be it. Take as many beans as you want, fill them inside a sack, add some furry ears to the side, and name your creation something pretty, such as Dolly the Dolphin or Ollie the Owl. The result? A Beanie Baby! H. Ty Warner is the brains behind this invention that quickly sold over 30,000 units after premiering in a toy show in Atlanta. What's shocking is that Warner never marketed his inventions or sold them in major stores. But come to think of it, this strategy was genius because it made the babies hard to come by, boosting their appeal. Combine that with the fact that he retired some models after they ran out, and you can see why his profits from the invention are said to be anywhere between three to six billion dollars. Are you enjoying the video? Why don't you hit the thumbs up button? And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to get alerts whenever new videos go up. What are some strange inventions that made people rich you know about? Share them with us in the comments section. With that, it's a wrap. You've been awesome. And remember to tune in for another episode. Meanwhile, check out our other videos for more inspiring insights. Bye!